I wander alone. Each step is a whisper, each shadow a groan. Not all branches reaching, they scratch at the sky. In this eerie sanctuary, where echoes don't die. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Trish and this is Sarah. Hi. I am an ambulatory wheelchair user and I just want to share what my day-to-day -day life is like. If you've been watching my channel, you may know that Halloween is my favorite. I have been checking out different Halloween things for a while now. Tonight, we are in the Boardman, Ohio area, and we are going to go around and look at some nicely decorated houses. We're just going to look at a few, and then when we're done with that, we are headed to Campfield, and we're going to go to the Campfield Scaregrounds. Now, they have something that sets them apart from other haunted houses. They have a kid area. You pay $10 a person, and you can go through a kid-friendly haunted house. There's no monsters in it. And in previous years, you've been able to go through as many times as you want. And you also, for that $10, have access to their midway area. And that is where there's some zombie paintball and there's some monsters roaming around. We're going to check it out, give you a review, and let you know how accessible it is. If this is your first time visiting my channel, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and let's go! Oh, I see it. Look at that. The tree has moving arms. Oh, this is just so cute. I love it. Wow, that is a lot. That is awesome. We are here! We are gonna start with the bounce house. This is cute. <laughs> now we are going to walk in the midway area where the scare actors are. Okay, we are gonna go through the Monster Mash Kid Haunted House again. We apparently did not finish the house earlier. We accidentally exited halfway through. This is adorable and really fun for little ones not ready for scary yet.
great time at the Campfield Scaregrounds. I think it is really nice that they do something for families. Now, you can kind of hear the chainsaws from the family-friendly haunted house, but noise travels. So <laughs> the family-friendly haunted house was really cute though. As far as accessibility goes, I did not go into the haunted houses, so I don't know how accessible they were. In years past, they have been legally accessible, ramps and such, just a little hard to navigate. But we didn't do it this year, maybe next year. The big accessibility problem is they don't have handicap parking. It's a temporary event, but they don't seem to have any like parking spaces marked off in any way. We got there early, so we didn't really have to find anyone and ask where we should park. We just parked as close as we could. But it is a long distance from where you park to where you buy your tickets for someone who was walking with like a walker or a cane. Uh, even for like a manual wheelchair, it would be a bit of a hike. So I wish they had closer parking available. And if they do, they don't tell anybody about it. It is a great time though. And it was affordable. We were there several hours for $10 a person. The kids can go bounce as much as they want and they can go through the monster mesh area as much as they want. And that area is great. There's a lot of effort put in there. All right, I hope you enjoyed my video. I know it was kind of short, but I have lots of Halloween and fall fun stuff ahead. So if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'll see you soon.